A true system-wide dark mode is something that we're expecting from Apple for so long damn time, and we still haven't seen that on any iPhone, but we're still expecting this to be released somewhere in the iOS 13 in June or July, but that's so far away. What we can do right now just to bring it to the iPhone? Well, today guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you just that, how you can actually bring the system full dark mode to your iPhone and just to make it perfect. So we're gonna adjust some settings to make it perfect and I'm gonna show you how. And before we're gonna start guys, of course every single like would be so much appreciated. This will bring me a huge support and possibly also share this video with friends or family, anyone that would be interested in it. And now let's go ahead and get started. So one of my best devices just to showcase this full system wide dark mode on is my iPhone 10 here. So we're gonna start. As you can see right now on the bottom where we have the dock, it's actually in this little uh, uh, dark tint so it's almost invisible in the camera but it's actually darker much darker than it used to be as well as this widgets panel as you can see everything is running smoothly and it also has this little dark tint on every single widget that I have in here when we open up the apps for example the settings as you can see we've got this running smoothly so we've got the splash screen which is actually black and it's not white like you know on other devices where it just kind of <laughs> shines into your eyes and blinds you for a second so when you want to get a full system wide dark mode everything should be running smoothly like I have in here so for example when I open up app store as you can see that's black and it isn't white like usually and there we have the full system wide dark mode in the app store as well and of course guys we will need a jailbreak for it if you don't know how to jailbreak your device I've got a tutorial for you guys it's gonna be down below in the comment section as well as in the description so you can go ahead and watch it just to jailbreak your device so after that you you can go to your city and then we're gonna add the source which will bring us two tweaks that we need and one of them is called the xerald repo.xerald.com so go ahead and just click on edit add and type in that repo just gonna uh, click on add source and they're gonna add it and that's fine and after that guys go ahead and just search for noctis the noctis tweak which will actually bring this uh, dark mode to our home screen so as you can see i've got uh, the noctis 12 ios 11 preview this is a previous version installed just because it works better on my device you can try other ones as well as the noctis 12 um, just to try it on your device and maybe this will work better for you but i've got this one installed in my device and after that once you installed it go back into the city application and also search for eclipse so i've got the eclipse 12 installed on my device uh, if you're running the ios 12 obviously install this one and after that go back to your home screen go to the settings and this is where the main part starts so now i'm gonna go through all of the settings quickly just to show you guys how to enable this true dark mode on your device so in noctis you don't need to install anything or adjust anything uh, so you need to have now the uh, actual dock and also the widgets panel colors and all of the notifications this is uh, this should be on by default in this Noctis tweak and also go now into the Eclipse dark mode so make sure of course you've got it enabled up here enable it and now go into the applications and select all of the applications that you want to be in this true dark mode and after that guys just go back here and go into the color options go into the theme and select the true dark mode if you want it so now as you can see I've got this uh, black color in here in this main part this is thanks to this midnight option so let me just focus okay so just select the midnight option if you want the true dark mode if you don't just the lighter color just select tonight go back and now go back again uh, click on the more options and now you need to actually select this color loading screens option so just select it and choose the midnight or the night color again and you can also uh, select this one for the keyboard so the keyboard should be in this dark mode as well and there's one more option that I'm actually super uh, pumped about is this website dark mode so you can actually get the dark mode inside the safari so make sure you select it in the applications and also in here if you want to try it out so it looks like that so as you can see that's actually inverting all of the colors on the page uh, and this is actually good so we're gonna go back guys and after you've done everything on in the settings just go back and you just make sure you click on the reload springboard and after that every single setting should be applied on your device so yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for this video here is everything that you need to actually enable in this dark mode to get it uh, into its a uh, perfect uh, working condition and so we also got as you can see this notification center colored which is so super nice uh, so we've got all of this loading screens are black and everything like that 
so as you can see everything is in the true dark mode no need to wait for the iOS 13 obviously and anyways guys I think that should be pretty much it for this video of course if you liked it uh, definitely be sure to hit the like button that will be super much appreciated also if you are new to the channel if you like the channel just please subscribe to it that will be super much appreciated as well and as always guys I really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out